Hey guys, welcome to this video. If you've clicked on this video, that means you wanna learn a little bit more on how to wear the Il Maquillage 2-in-1 Powder Foundation. And I have the honor of kind of showing you my favorite ways to apply this product. My name is Kirsten. I've been a makeup artist probably about nine years now. Really excited about being here with you guys. I've tried many powder foundations. I've tried probably every foundation in the world you could probably think of, if I'm being honest, because we're makeup artists. We love these products and we're junkies, kind of, you know? So um, I love this product. Actually, let me grab my brush real quick. Okay, so my favorite way to apply these foundation powders, um, whether they are full coverage, light coverage, I really like to use a dense brush. This is a medium to buildable coverage foundation. What that means is that depending on how you apply this product, what tools you use to apply this product, whether it's a very dense brush, a very fluffy brush, um, or even a makeup sponge. You can use all three of these in order to apply your two-in-one powder foundation. It'll give you a different finish in a sense where it's whether sheer, medium, or full, okay? So today we're gonna kind of go over the different tools you can use to apply this powder and what that will look like for you so you can decide how to use it that best suits your makeup style okay so i'm really excited we're gonna get started um the first thing we're gonna go in with is this beautiful fluffy brush it is a synthetic brush so it's really good even for tinted moisturizers liquid foundations and powders um the reason i love this product number one it is so creamy like creamy it has like a really beautiful sheen to it it melts right into my skin. It feels very weightless and it's very blurring. So I really love this. So this is me, I have no makeup on, no concealer. All I have on are my brows, that's it. So you're gonna see this applied straight on real life. So this is how you know if a brush is going to apply a light amount of coverage for you. I like to take the brush clean and just apply some pressure to it against, you know, any part of my body <laughs> or against my hand. And as you can see, the brush kind of completely loses its shape. That means it's not very dense. So it's only going to apply so much product for you, no matter how much you keep using it, okay? So if all my babies who want lighter coverage, this is going to be the best tool for you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm going to shake off any excess. Just press it right in. And I'm going to do a swirly motion. What I love about this is that it has a soft, matte satin finish so it's really good for all skin types it almost has this beautiful sheen as you can see that it's adding to my skin very beautiful so if you want to just use this on top of your tinted moisturizer on top of your liquid foundation or just like if you have a glow product that you want to apply this on top or you can even keep this in your bag for a nice touch up. You don't have to worry about it making you cakey or anything like that. It's just such a soft focus. And you can literally see my face. It's matte, but it kind of has this really beautiful sheen to it. So that's when they say matte satin finish. It's a matte finish. It's not a dewy type of powder or super glittery powder. So it won't enhance any texture, but it'll still have the skin looking like skin. So boom, as you can see, you're still going to see a lot of my skin peeking through, any a little bit of redness or anything like that. You can also add just a little bit more product in the areas maybe where you need it. If you're my baby who doesn't like to wear too much makeup, you just want a little something, something. Boom. You can do that. Easy peasy. Love it. All right, guys. All right, you guys. So the next thing I want to show you is how to apply this product and build it up and make it more of a medium to full coverage. I'm gonna take a more denser brush. This is my Il Maquillage 100 foundation brush. I'm gonna do the same trick. As you can see, the brush, as I apply pressure, is only leaning in one direction. It's not losing its shape. It's not completely splitting in half. That's how you know that this brush is a really good dense brush. It's gonna really build the product up for you. As you saw with this fluffier brush, we kind of buffed it in the skin and went in kind of circular motions to kind of give it a soft effect. This is gonna be a little bit different. So I'm gonna take the brush, I'm gonna press it in, pick up some product, and I'm gonna start applying this foundation powder right where I need the most coverage. So I have a lot of redness right here. So I'm just gonna pat it right here. 
I don't know if you can tell, but that just blurred this whole side of my face out. I'm just gonna do this. And I'm just pressing it into my skin. The shade that I'm using is Honey Bronze. Bronze, darling. Oh, my nose is really red. <laughs> don't know why I have so much redness but look as you can see it's gonna cover it up and what I love like I said guys is that it makes the face still look very satin and soft and I love that about this product okay so there you have this is the fuller coverage applicated side this is the softer applicated side as you can tell you really see how important it is to know what tools you're using to apply your products a softer less dense brush is going to give you a softer look a lesser coverage but you can use a dense brush and it's going to give you a fuller coverage a fuller look if you're needing that so that is my two favorite ways to apply this two-in-one powder foundation you can apply it wet dry build it up make it soft set it on top of tinted moisturizers foundations or just use it alone if you're the type of person who doesn't like to wear a lot of makeup but you just need a quick touch up a little one two three this two-in-one powder foundation is fantastic um to finish it off just to give myself a little bit of zhuzh i'm gonna take my favorite mineral bake touch me powder from el maquillage i love this freaking product because it's marbleized and it has all this beautiful yummy colors and it just gives the skin a glow look at that cool girl i absolutely this is my favorite thing on the planet like i just kind of go crazy with this because I just feel like it bronze and blushes you up. Like it, if you're the type, less is more. Like I don't need 20, I don't want 20 million products. I mean, I love 20 million products. But if you don't want 20 million products to apply and you just want something that does everything all in one, girl, boo. This right here, this is where it's at. Look at this. I love it, especially because like I feel like blush is making such a massive comeback and I love this. Once again, this is the Mineral Baked Touch Me Bronzer. Love that. You must have it all year round. It's fantastic. I've literally had this product since last year. I haven't even hit pan, guys. So there you have it. I hope this tutorial was helpful on how to apply your two-in-one powder foundation from Il Maquillage. You've learned and we've gone over different ways to build it up, different ways to make it sheer, the importance of what tools you use when you're applying your makeup products in order to find the best way to wear your makeup for your style. So I hope this was helpful. Hope you guys have an amazing day. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.